My name is Michael McGinnis. I am a sculptor living in Northern California with my wife Becky and our two children, Sam and Laura. I am instructor of art and design at Santa Rosa Junior College and the inventor of Perplexus, the world's first three-dimensional labyrinth game. Along with these endeavors, I work with my friend James Yance on interactive museum exhibits. We are currently creating more than 20 exhibit units for CMOSC, the Children's Museum of Sonoma County. I am passionate about all that I do, but creating Superplexus brings me closest to the soul in art, the part that celebrates our creative spirit in a way that is deeper than mere problem solving, closer to the essence of humanity and the mystery of life itself. When I'm creating these pieces of interactive sculpture, I feel a deep connection to those artists who have come before to express metaphors and lift the veils shadowing our world. It is a way of feeling connected. My Superplexus works have been created for museums, corporations, institutes, and private collections around the world, including Australia, Germany, Sweden, and the USA. I was especially keen to create a piece for you, the Goethe Institute, in Krakow because of your cultural mission and Krakow's long history. Poland is the furthest east my works have reached, and I am grateful for your support. Interlace Goethe Institute is a special labyrinth that incorporates six unique yet intertwined pathways, each weave in and out of one another on their way to six different endpoints. This allows players to work on different skills as they try each pathway. These paths are graded by difficulty, determined by the number and type of pitfalls and path length. Path 1, represented by a single dot, is the shortest and easiest, which I have personally completed several times. It can be viewed as a training level, where finding some success can be attained while getting to know the superplexus concept. Pathways 4 and 5 utilize the carriage, or the tram as it may be called. This is an exciting device that carries the ball through the center of the piece on a carefully balanced cart. All pathways interact with the sea turtle a plane within interlace that is perforated, allowing the ball to follow rails rather than to roll on a surface. This and all parts of interlace was conceived as a visual and structural element of the piece. Like each of my other Superplexus works, interlace took hundreds of hours to design and many hundreds more to build. This reflects the thousands of hours of interaction that I wish for you and your audience as they endeavor to complete each path. Every surface and element of the pathway system is purposeful, with no superfluous parts or dead-end pathways. Every surface, both top and bottom, can ultimately be traversed. Good luck, enjoy, and thank you. Oh, no. <laughs>